Sergio. Should be live now. That, Chief that, Reyes. Is that it? Are we in? You want to go? <laughs> I, think, I think it looks like we're in. I think so. We're yeah. ready to. We're ready to rock. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're ready. Is it? Oh, look at that! I see it. I gotta find it myself. We always like to chit chat and mingle before we start. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, oh look yeah. See, lucky. Even even the sun came in for. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, let me turn this down. That's me talking to myself right here. Yeah, I can hear you talking to you. Yeah. We got all distractions out the way. We're, we're ready to rock. Oh, you turned off the camera, Taylor. Oh, there you go. There we go. There we go. Ready to rock? <laughs> yep. Hey, everyone out there in Facebook land, I'm Chief Master Sergeant Lewis Reyes, the Senior Listed Advisor for the Exchange. Of course, this is our second session today. If you were on earlier, we had uh, JT from Black Rifle Coffee Company. But today we also have another special guest. But before we get to them, ladies, Julie, Leah, how are you doing today? Good. 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 How's the last few hours been? I'm busy. What about you? <laughs> work, work, work. Always. <laughs> hey, so, so thanks to everyone watching in the audience. Appreciate it. So all, you know, all the service members or families, retirees, veterans, everyone out there, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you like the page. And of course, if you like what you're seeing, smash that like button, right? Learn and <laughs> smash it, smash it. <laughs> so Julie, do you mind introducing our guest today? I'm so excited about our guest tonight. Um, we've never had an evening session. So you guys are our first, first. evening, nighttime hours. We're super excited. Um, they're giving up a slot on their own Facebook platform to be with us on ours tonight. So we really appreciate it. They're part of Better Noise Music and they are an up and coming alternative band. Please help us welcome Taylor Perkins, Cole Perkins and Mike Van Dyke, also known as Bleaker. Hey, thank you guys so much for having us. This is awesome. We're awesome. super excited. I am <laughs> excited. We're going to hear some cool music. Hey, but Taylor, Cole, Mike, thank you so much for being live with us. We're thrilled to have you. Know that it means a lot to the service members, military families, and veterans to have you with us to boost morale. So thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's awesome to be here. Um, we're in Aurelia right now in Canada. So we're just kind of hanging out and did some yard work today, did some tilling of the garden and stuff. So it's nice to get back to playing some music. Wow. <laughs> 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 and for everybody watching thank you for joining us and go ahead and leave some love for Bleeker in the comments let us know where you're watching from and now's a good time to start your watch party to enjoy this with your friends that's right watch party hey let's get this going taylor cole mike great to have you can you tell us a little bit about yourselves where you're from your band and your music yeah so we're from really ontario canada uh, we've been together since, I think, 2013, so we're old guys now, and, uh, you know, veterans of the game. <laughs> uh, so uh, my name's Taylor, this is my little brother Cole here, and that's uh, our oldest friend Mike. We met him in soccer practice uh, about 15 years ago, so uh, yeah, we're just, we're just a band, we love playing music, and, uh, you know, that's, that's kind of it. How would you describe your music for the fans out there? What genre? Um, I guess it'd be like an alternative -y, rocky kind of thing. Um, very Billy Joel, Randy Newman. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, yeah, we're like, a, you know, we used to be really, really rock. Now we're kind of on the pop ball side, so. All right. Hey, and how did, uh, how, how did you meet, you said uh, your brother's cold there. How did you meet Mike then? How did you guys, besides soccer practice, like how did he become a part of the band, right? Growing up, he just, he was just a part of it. He had to do so many tryouts, like to get because <laughs> yeah, it was it was the bar was super high, but Mike surpassed it. He was no, he's I think he might be the only bass player in Aurelia, and that's how he got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he's uh, he's we we've been together for so long, you know, and uh, he's like a brother to us as well. So it's it's super nice. Oh, <laughs> awesome! Great story. How have you guys been holding up during the pandemic? Um, has COVID-19 affected your music at all? Um, it has because we were supposed to be on tour at the end of the month. So it's all oh. been pushed back. And so uh, we should be 
we should be getting ready to be going out for like two months right now. So yeah. it's, it, it is really nice to be at home, but also we still wanted to keep going and keep and doing this, but um, we're lucky to have people like you that want to have us on and have us do these kinds of things and, and keep the music going. So uh, it's just, it's different. It's different. <laughs> hey, so as you know, we have soldiers, airmen, sailors, Marines, Coasties, and military families watching. What words of inspiration or thanks do you have for all our heroes battling on the front lines against COVID-19? Uh, well, I mean, a thousand thanks. I, I wish we could do more. All we can do is just play music for people. I feel like that's, I like, we should be, you know what I mean? So like, we're doing, no, we're not doing enough, but uh, like, obviously, like you guys are the, the pinnacle of everything. And uh, thank you so, 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 so much. Like we have no understanding of what you would have to go through and all those kinds of things. So it's hard, it's hard for us as musicians to like, I have friends that are policemen and, and firefighters and things like that. So I get kind of a little bit of what's going on, but you guys are the, you guys are the best. So thank you so much. So Chief is in the U.S. Air Force, and Leah and I are civilians with the Army and Air Force Exchange Service. So we have stores and restaurants on Army and Air Force installations all over the world, and we've been open this whole time during the pandemic to take oh, care of, yeah, to take care of warfighters yeah. and their families. So we're considered mission essential by the U.S. Department of Defense. So. What kind of words of inspiration do you have for the folks who work for us? We have about 33,000 people who, who work for us and they're coming into work every day. Um, some words of hope would really mean a lot to them. What do y'all have for us? Oh, well, I think that things are only gonna get better from here. I think I, as long as people are still trying to get a little bit better every day and keep moving on and keep pushing and keep going. And that's what we're doing. We're just we're getting like I just learned how to play guitar better so I mean like that's, that's what I'm doing to maybe help you know and, and do that kind of thing so I think just keep going like it, it's not all coming to an end there is light at the end of the tunnel and we just got to get there hey so we've been we've been scoping out your music right as a matter of fact I was uh listening to to where's your money on YouTube right now before nice. you can nice. yeah but but I know uh, uh we love to hear a song called give a little bit more disaster okay all right i see you guys are ready i know the <laughs> fans want to hear some music so <laughs> i'm chit chatting right can we hear can you tell us can you tell us a little bit about it first and then and then play the song and let us know let us hear it yeah for sure um so the song was kind of about like sometimes it's okay to feel angry and feel upset and just like um you know like nothing like nothing's perfect and just embrace that for what i guess it's perfect for what's going on right now it's just embracing the, Embracing the suck and, <laughs> and then pushing past the suck yeah. is what this song is about. So um, we'll play it for you right now. Awesome. They say life is a riddle. Oh, man, it's much more simple. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. Like a car crash out in the countries, flies, and all I can do is drive away. I just wanna drive away. Every day I give a little bit more. Every time I get a little bit, a little bit less, they're on me just to settle the score. Every day I give a little bit more. They Oh, 
great fantastic you're getting a lot of likes and loves on our facebook feed um so just want to take a second and share some of those with you um rose morgan says love the vibe and jamie roberts says love this song <laughs> a lot of people are telling us where they're watching from uh kansas new york city um queens Crazy. And Sonia says, nice. You're getting <laughs> some claps. You're getting all kinds of love. <laughs> Is there anything about the mustache at all? Is there like, any mustache comments? There's Not nothing about yet. the mustache yet, but I like it. I, I can tell you've been working on it, right? Like went yeah. back and watched some of your other videos. Yeah. It's coming along every quite day. nicely. Every day. That's how I get a little bit better every day. Just grow the mustache a little bit more. <laughs> So you guys who are watching, share some feedback about the mustache. We know you love it. <laughs> <laughs> Let I him know just, he's doing okay with it. <laughs> just, just, just pushing, just pushing the mustache. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> We are loving you and loving your music. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your musical influences? Um. Yeah, so uh, I feel like I'm always the one talking. I like, I'm like, oh, sorry. Girl. Like for me, for me, it definitely started out like ACDC and Zappa. Yeah, it was, it was I think a, we all, it was a lot of classic rock, a lot of like Joe Walsh, Jimi yeah. Hendrix, you yeah. know, like a lot of blues music, stuff like that. And I guess, you know, the older you get, the more you just kind of venture off in other types of music. And yeah, you kind of go from there, right? Yeah, 100%. I remember listening to like Louis Armstrong when I was a kid and his voice was just like, this is the, the, the most, like, I didn't have to see him. I just like knew who he was, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so, yeah, that was a big one for me. That's outstanding, but you know what? I want to hear another song. So instead of doing an encore, what if we play a little Problems? But tell us a little bit about it first. Oh, yeah. for sure. Um, so uh, before, I guess before all this COVID stuff happened, uh, I had a really hard time, well, we had a really hard time with social media. Like I've never had social media and stuff. So it was always this like foreign thing. And I was, I was worried about it, like always taking over and stuff. But as this goes along, doing these kinds of things and this kind of social media, it just seems like it's bringing everybody together and stuff. So this is kind of just like, like it's heater totter between like not like going so far into it where you're like, that's your life, you know what I mean? But like using it in a good way, so. Um, I had a friend that was just obsessed and would be on her phone all the time just scrolling through stuff and worried about what people were thinking and stuff and, I, and really wanted to write a song about just like throwing your, those problems in the air like don't care about what other people think and just do just be yourself is what this song is about. Love to hear it. Yep. <clears throat> Oh, no, we 
comes in the air like someone else's mommy at your home damn party ride. Oh, go your problems in the air, but don't let them tell you nothing, man, there's nothing really there. Oh, go your problems in the air like someone else's mommy at your home damn party ride. Oh, go your problems in the air, go your problems in the air, yeah, yeah, yeah. don't make me love you. If they don't love themselves, don't let them tell you. Scare you half to death. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna know if the sky is falling. I just wanna ride into the sun. Oh, throw your problems in the air like someone else's money at your own damn party ride. Oh, throw your problems in the air. Everyone, throw them in this bag. We got throw these problems in this bag and toss them in the air. Let's go. <laughs> That's awesome. Then you could just. That was really awesome, guys. Thank you. <laughs> so you guys are getting still a lot of love. Connor Hammett says he loves the harmonies. Um, there you go, Connor. A big high five to you. We're also getting several questions about your songs and the songwriting process. Who who writes? Do you collaborate? Um, what's your what's your inspiration? How do you decide on what songs? Can you can you all talk us through that? Yep. Yeah, uh, usually the process goes. Um, so uh, it's usually just like I'll have a very dumbed down bad idea for a song, <laughs> and I'll give it to Cole, and then Cole will, like spruce it up and do a good thing. <laughs> or if Cole has a really, really like elaborate idea, he'll give it to me and I'll kind of dumb it down. <laughs> and then we'll take that and we'll build around that kind of thing. Uh, we do collaborate. Like, I mean, I think the most important part in music is just staying open to different ideas. And it doesn't, if, if we were writing a song like you and I, we could write a song together and you would have some good ideas, some bad ideas. I'd have some good ideas and bad ideas. And it's just getting everyone together and making something awesome. 
So, Probably yeah. more bad ideas from me on songwriting, but, <laughs> but as long as there's one good idea, it was, it was worth it. You got to remember. That's awesome. So Brian Hyatt, he also says, aside from music, what are your hobbies? For example, I like to garden and barbecue and do yard work. What about you guys? Right. Um. Well, well do you, Mike? All, yeah, we do. Well, we were just gardening before, you know, doing this. So I, yeah, I guess yeah. we we um, do that. Yeah. Being a musician, so uh, growing up, obviously music is a very hard thing to do to make enough money to support yourself. So I think between the between the three of us, we could just build you guys a house from the ground up. Yeah. Foundation. <laughs> wow. Foundation to the rafters. Yeah. So we 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 do all those kinds of things. So like um. We just built a shed last week, um, that kind of stuff. Uh, we're all very hands-on people. Uh, Mike is an excellent cook. Well, I'm, I'm okay. I like doing it. I would say I'm good. <laughs> He's, He's okay. made some eggs. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. These and, guys are and Cole is a, you, you're a mountain biker. Right. I've been doing some mountain biking lately. Mountain biking? Yeah. Oh, all right. I like mountain biking. <laughs> yeah. Wow. He just bought a, a brand new bike. It's sitting, it's sitting outside with a lock on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, but it's it's important. Like, just music is definitely the the center pillar. But there's it's also fun to just do everything else. You know what I mean? It's really nice. So since you you know you're all self isolating like the rest of us, what are you doing to stay inspired during the the pandemic? Um, well, hanging out with each other is really nice. <laughs> We're lucky that we have this group of people in one place where we can yeah. you know. Uh, but it's. I'm doing like these house renovations and things like that. Like I, uh, I just, I put a window inside my house. So then now there's an <laughs> indoor window. So, do you guys want to see it? Yes. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm going to go get my wife to go stand up in it to give some perspective of what yeah. we've okay. done. So we have this like <laughs> this vaulted ceiling. And so we had a bat stuck in the wall. Oh my God. A bat? So a bat. So we. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. Yeah. No. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we, we, tore no bats. <laughs> we tore off the panel to find the bat there was no bat and we we're like maybe a cool little like hole here up to the i'll, I'll show you so here's, here's my wife sam right up there <laughs> hey <laughs> oh that's cool oh that is yeah. cool we improved so it's, like, it's, like, it's like a juliet window so she just calls <laughs> <laughs> so how did the bat get all the way up there <laughs> I don't, we never found the bat either. The bat is somewhere else. I don't know where it oh. goes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no. Running no. loose. <laughs> it's running loose somewhere. Well, I'm, I don't know about running, but definitely. <laughs> <laughs> it's flying. It's flying loose. <laughs> it's fine. I'm sure it's just, it's that probably loose. Yeah, it's fine. Probably dead by now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You hope. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> what have y'all been um what have y'all been listening to um lately anything new did like oh, since things have kind of shut down have you been just changing it up at all i don't know i think i personally i've just been like kind of back in the classics you know like i i don't know why but i don't know maybe mm -hmm. i yeah like i actually been going classic too like you guys know the andrew sisters are like from the boys yes, yes. <laughs> So hitting up the Andrew sisters pretty hard. Wow. That, yeah. <laughs> that, 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 the answer like, I expected oh. at all. <laughs> Led Zeppelin, Black Sabbath, you know. <laughs> there and you go. And, <laughs> the the <Andrew> <laughs> and uh, Cole, Cole is so every time we do something, say we're like building something, or whatever. Cole always puts on this specific band oh, every time. Yeah. What is that? Both pack. Yeah. Who is it? Wolf Peck. Yeah. V U L F. They're like P E C K. Yeah. V U L F P E C K. Wolf Peck. They're just like, like, like good modern, like funk bands. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, like, really good. Uh, really Mot good Motown esque kind of. Yeah. They're, they're, they're a good band. That sounds like Julie's style. Yeah, it does sound like me. Um, I will add that along with some Andrew sisters to my playlist when we're done. That would be a very weird playlist. <laughs> so what's ahead uh, What's ahead for the band, especially as, as maybe restrictions start being lifted? What are your plans? Any tours coming up? 
So uh, we had the tour from May to like July, which had to be, I guess it's going to push back till next year, next spring. Um, what we want to do is we're, we're hoping that smaller groups can kind of get together and stuff. So what we want to do is like kind of a radio tour in the States and just kind of hit radio stations with smaller groups and mm -hmm. obviously staying, st staying safe and following the guidelines. Um, but as well, we were, we were thinking, so there's a couple bands in Canada that are doing like drive-in concerts. Drive-in theater, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where they like, yeah, like rent out like movie, like drive-in movie theaters and but perform shows. So, you know. What I'm thinking about right now though, as we talk, is <laughs> if my kitchen and living room were just a bunch of cell phones and then there's just different people's faces on them yeah. and watching. Like, like, <laughs> you know, I am like, I have a big screen TV. Oh so yeah, like a big screen TV. <laughs> Well, yeah, it, sounds I guess video. it sounds like video material right there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, 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 it's hard as a musician, right? You know, because like that, that thing has been taken away. So we just got to figure out new ways. So any ideas are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so what do you, what, what are you all watching up in Canada? What, what's on TV for you guys? What's on that? You watch Netflix? <laughs> so far away in Canada. So far away in Canada. He's so, so far away. Right up, up north, so cold. <laughs> like, okay, so there's like this, there's this, there's this show that's just penguins and polar bears. That's what you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you spin off from the tiger king? I got her. I got her. Oh. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, what do you been watching? <laughs> I've been, I've been watching The Last Dance, like the Chicago Bulls with Michael Jordan. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, like life, life in Pieces is always good. There's new that's episodes of that. That's, that's a yeah. It's a good yeah. show. Yeah, it's hard. We we watched I think what's it called, the Crown or the Royals or something like that the other day. Oh, the yeah. Great. The Great, yeah, yeah, which is pretty interesting. Um, but also, I just all I do is uh, I'm a creature of habit, so I just watch and rewatch The Office. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yes, that is what we've been watching. We introduced our teenager to it, and he's loving it. So I'm so glad you said that. It really holds up, I think. I, oh, yeah. like, I, I watched it like three times and all I do is like say I'm doing something wherever I'll put it on and just listen to it and I can <laughs> see it in my head like I can maybe move on it's kind of becoming like this chronic thing that I can't <laughs> I can't shake can we get a that's what she said <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's totally. what she said. you stole my joke <laughs> playlist what should our watchers put on their playlist which of your songs and why oh um of our songs all of them, all of them. <laughs> no um, um i guess well uh, there's one song that comes to mind right when you said that our song cool that's not released yet it's like a happy go lucky awesome thing uh i guess disaster is kind of like embrace the suck like we just talked about yeah um Problems is very happy. What do you guys think? That's hard. That's a really hard question. No. Cool. Cool? No, yeah. It's not, it's not released. I'm not something right like next. So when is that? When they when can they expect that to be released? Um, I think in a couple months, which is boring. Yeah. But um, I guess I guess I guess the one song that you could put on, not of ours. Can we answer that question? One song that's not ours that you would put on on a COVID playlist? Sure. Sure. Am I making up our own questions right now? <laughs> you, <laughs> wow. You can totally do that. I'm calling the, <laughs> call the shots here, guys. <laughs> if you're okay, show. I want because I want to know what they what they want to say. One, one song. song. Only one song. Oh, mine would be Vienna by Billy Joel. So <gasps> I, 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 oh, I, I so might yeah. <laughs> Is that a good one? Great song. Yes. Good. I love that one. Yes. Okay, so I nailed it. Let's go you to did. <laughs> Jamie Roberts says. Jamie Roberts says 1968 is what she would choose. Oh, oh yeah, yes. that's what we would pick too. As far as far as our songs go, as far as our songs go, yeah. 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 Um, you have to still answer though. You can't I'm, I'm going with that. I'm going with that. 1968. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be a problems our own song. Oh, yeah, okay. I just missed the question. Do you see how they gang up on me so bad? <laughs> they left you hanging, Taylor. They left me hanging. <laughs> they left me hanging hard. <laughs> I, wish I, could, I wish I could just jump into one of your screens and be not here right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
speaking of uh, uh, speaking of 1968, what can we get a can we get a little little sound effect there? Can we hear it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's for sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, here we go. comments or a couple of replies to your mustache question <laughs> these are important yeah jamie jamie says no to the stash but <laughs> somebody, somebody else said nice <laughs> okay that's i'll take the positive so that balance the yeah. it's more yeah it's like it's this is good i think that's a definitely a positive <laughs> 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 so you guys have been excellent um sonia says nice um when you were playing that and you guys were getting still again some likes and loves we really appreciate you guys being on with us chief do you have anything to share any comments that i've missed I, you know, I think you call all the comments. I, I try to look through them. That's why I look down to kind of see the comments to, to see what people are saying and, 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 and track them. But I think we, we hit them all. Great song. Thank you so much for playing. Thank you so much for being a part, a part of us here. Um, but before you go, can you let the audience know where they can find you, website, social media handles, anything of that nature? Where can they find yeah. Uyghur? 
Yeah, uh, uh, at Bleaker Official on everything, basically. Listen to us on Spotify, on iTunes, uh, Napster, LimeWire, whatever those old school <laughs> ones are. <laughs> you, guys, you remember that, right? Napster, LimeWire. Yes. Yeah. So we're on MySpace too. It's at Mike and Bleaker. Yeah. And, uh, Bleaker official. And it's all the stuff, all the platforms. Just go ahead and at Bleaker Official. That's awesome. You heard it here. So, hey, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for bringing a little morale to the service members and their families out there. We deeply appreciate it. I see, uh, you know, it's six o'clock here. I think I'm not sure what time you're, what time zone you're in. Is it still six where you're at? I think it's, it's like seven o'clock. Yeah, yeah. It's seven. It's a little late. And I see on the mantle there, you got a little something. You're supporting your, your Canadian whiskey back there. Um, oh, yeah. No, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, have a, we have a, a moonshine from uh, from Newfoundland over there, too. Yeah. So. Do you? I got some credit, so I think it's time. It's time to sign off. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, thank. Uh, great. I wish you the best of luck. Wish you the best success. I'll keep my eye on you. I follow you on the gram and everything, so I'll keep my eye on you, see what you're doing, and uh, keep in contact from time to time and say what's up. Thank you so much. For, being for sure. Thank you guys That's so awesome. much for having us. Thank you for everything you guys do, and hopefully we'll see each other in real in real life. Yes, <laughs> yes. if you're in I'm Dallas, Dallas, stop by. 100%. Yes. 100%. Thank you, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.